Hello, hello everybody. In this video, we are going to discuss different type of digital meter. First of all, digital meter is classified into two types: integrating type and non-integrating type. In integrating type of digital meter, find the three types: first, voltage to frequency converter; second, potentiometric to integrating type of digital meter third dual slope integrating digital meter in non integrating type of digital meter also have two type potentiometric type and ram type in potentiometric type have another three types first continuous balance type successive type and null balance type and in ram type of non integrating digital meter also have two type linear and square case so friends first first of all start with integrating type of digital meter digital pole meter we can also say that it is a pole to two frequency converter so this integrating type of digital pole meter is a phase on the principle of converting the voltage into the proportional frequency signal that means this type of pulse meter this type of uh, integrating type of digital pulse meter is convert input voltage into the frequency signal by using this frequency frequency is then digitally measured and displayed as shown in the figure It is the plot diagram of integrating type of digital pole meter. In this diagram, on the input side there is an integrator. In integrator, the capacitor C, which is always connected in between output and input. You can say capacitor C is used as a feedback. Here, E R is a input voltage. It is an unknown hold input voltage. The voltage V is to be measured. Is applied to the integrator. The output of the integrator is always a negative going ram signal. The this ram signal generated ram signal that means output of the integrator is goes to the comparator. As shown in the figure, the comparator have two input. First input is the output of the integrator that is it is a ram negative going ram signal. And second is the reference signal. So this comparator have two inputs: RAM signal and reference signal. Then this negative going RAM signal will equal to the reference voltage. The output of the comparator will be changed. That means the comparator will change its state. So when the comparator change its state. This coil generator will generate the pulses. The generated pulses are always proportional to the input voltage. These pulses are again fed back to the integrator. As the capacitor is already charged, but when the pulses generated from the coil generator are applied to the integrator, capacitor start discharging. as the capacitor completely discharged that means it goes to the zero again the new ramp will be generated in such a way that the comparator will continuously change the state as the comparator will continuously change the state the pulse generate generate the pulses at a regular interval this generated pulse at a regular interval is always proportional to the Uh, input voltage applied to the integrator. As this pulse goes to, uh, goes to the integrator again and again, capacitor will continuously charge and discharge. So because of the fact that continuous charging and discharge of the capacitor, this comparator can also change its state again and again, so that the continuous uh, so that the pulse generator will generate the pulses at a regular interval this pulses 
which generate regularly at a specific interval which indicate the frequency signal and this frequency signal is proportional to the input voltage and the pulses which generated at a regular interval is a count by using a digital meter, digital frequency meter. And also calibrate in terms of input voltage. Let's see the another plot diagram of integration type of digital voltage. See, this plot diagram have a two part. We can divide this plot diagram in two parts. In first section, it is a frequency generator, and this section we can call it as a frequency counter or frequency measurement. So here is the input voltage, that is the voltage to be measured is applied to the integrator. The output of integrator is goes to the level detector or we can call it as a comparator. So the comparator will generate, uh, comparator will change its state continuously so that the pulse generator generates uh, pulses at a regular interval. This goes to the this gate. This gate is open still the start and stop gate is open so that this uh, output generated uh, from this gate are continuously measured or counted by using the counter and it will, dis uh, it will be displayed on display board. So, in such a way, the counter counts the pulses as proportional to the input voltage. So, for the better understanding of the operation of integrating type of digital voltmeter, let's see this way, the waveform. Uh, or diagram. So, as we already seen, uh, output of the in, uh, integrator it goes to the comparator, and output of the integrator is a RAM form. So, this is a RAM signal. It means it is an output of integrator. This RAM signal is goes to the comparator. Comparator have two input. First input is output from integrator and second is a reference signal. Here the RAM signal at this point this RAM signal is equal to the reference signal. As soon as the RAM input uh, sorry uh, as soon as the RAM signal is equal to the reference signal the output of the comparator will change the state. Here the pulse is to be generated. Pulse generate will be generate the pulse. These generated pulse are again feedback to the integrator. So, in this case, the capacitor is already charged, but then the pulses generated from the pulse generator are again go, uh, goes, uh, goes to the integrator. This discharge capacitor start discharging. See, it represents the discharging. The width of the pulses, the width of the pulses is always depend on the time required for the capacitor to discharge. So, this time P1 is represent time required uh, for the capacitor to charge and time P2, you can say it is a discharge time of the capacitor. As soon as capacitor reached to the zero, again, uh, the capacitor start charging and this procedure will be continuously goes on and in such a way that we will get the uh, we will get pulses at a regular interval. So uh, here I show you the figure as as we increase uh, input voltage so that as we increase the input voltage so that the slope of the RAM can also increase fastly. That means in a RAM voltage can uh, RAM voltage quickly reach to the reference voltage. So that pulses can also generate quickly. And if we slowly increase the RAM voltage, then it takes time 
to reach towards the red pulse voltage and, and pulse, uh, pulses are also generated slowly so that we can say that the frequency of the pulse generation is proportional to the input voltage. In this diagram, this represents input voltage Ti, that means the voltage which is to be measured. This input voltage is applied to the integrator. As the input voltage is applied to the integrator, uh, the, uh, the capacitor which is connected at the feedback of the integrator start charging and we generate RAM pulses. This RAM pulses is applied to the comparator. As we already discussed, the comparator have two input, RAM signal and another input is a reference voltage. When this RAM signal is equals to the reference voltage, the output of the comparator will be changed. As the comparator output will be changed, the pulse generator will generate the pulses. These pulses are again fed back to the integrator. So, because of this negative voltage, the capacitor, uh, the capacitor that are connected in the integrator, which uh, that was already charged, it will start discharging. As soon as the voltage on the capacitor reach to the zero, this capacitor using the integrator again start charging that means new RAM signal is to be generated this new RAM signal is again supplied to the comparator in certain output of the comparator will again change in that case we will get uh, as, uh, as the continuously output of the comparator will be changed this pulse generator will also generate the continuous form of the pulses at a regular so friends, in such a way that our integrated digital voltmeter can be